Okay, what's on the workbench today? It's a dead Yeti. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, they're microphones. Uh, this is the, the case. So it's a big white, big white microphone. Uh, this is a blue, a Yeti blue. And it's my, uh, my daughter's uh, boyfriend's microphone and it died. So he thought uh, maybe I could fix it. So it's kind of a complicated microphone. It's a USB microphone. Uh, which means that uh, you plug the USB in and it automatically digitizes the audio stream and sends it on USB and stuff. And it's, it's a fancy uh, microphone element. It has three microphone elements and you, it's switchable so you can change it from uh, different polar coordinates. You could, you could do uh, cardioid or omnidirectional or I forget what they call them. Anyway, it was like four different uh, radiation patterns that you can get out of the thing. And anyway, it was just uh, not working at all when you plugged it into the computer. It just sent out a high frequency scream and didn't do anything else. And so I was fiddling with it last night and trying to get it to go. I thought it was going to be an easy fix, um, but didn't seem to be. So I figured I might as well video it today since it's still in the, it's still in the garage and it's still being worked on. Uh, I'm going to try a couple more things out. Uh, let me. Let me tell you what I did. Um, let me, uh, uh, is that going to be close enough? Well, let me move the camera just a little bit closer. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, let me get something to point with. So, um, there's a, uh, a digital board and on the back there's an analog board. And so last night I troubleshooted the circuit and the analog board's working just fine. Uh, there's a connector that goes between the boards and so this is all just analog circuitry and there is an a audio signal that's getting passed to the uh, to the digital board so the other board's working just great and uh, this board has a couple chips on it this is a um, analog multiplexer chip analog switch actually a 4066 and i believe this is a usb chip and I'm not sure what this one is. There's a couple little chips in here. Not sure what they do. Anyway, um, this chip here uh, was toggling, and this chip here was not toggling, and it has this big 12 megahertz crystal associated with it. And I thought, well, if the 12 megahertz crystal isn't oscillating, then that's not good. There's only a couple things that can be wrong. Either the chip has gone bad or the crystal has gone bad. And my experience is the mechanical things are always suspect first. So crystals do mechanically break. So I removed the crystal and I tacked on another, this is 12 megahertz, I tacked on another 12 megahertz crystal and it still didn't oscillate. And so there's only one more thing I'm gonna to try today the only other thing that could keep this thing from oscillating, other than the chip being dead, is that there is load uh, capacitors on each side, and maybe one of those capacitors shorted. So that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to measure the um, resistance uh, between the resistance across those capacitors to see if any of them have shorted or not. Uh, there's two of them. Two of them kind of hiding in there. And so let me let me go measure this one. And it is a hundred K. And this one is 38K, so they're not shorted. Uh, those are just probably resistances of the uh, chip itself. So the chip is dead. Okay, so that's what I thought was going to happen. So basically the thing is scrap. I thought I would try one more thing today and see if this works. I have no idea. But um, there is, like I said, the other analog board. And the way that this uh, microphone works is, let me, uh, let me just slip on the case so you get an idea of get an idea of what's going on here. Uh, oh, I left that out. That's okay. Okay, let me, let me zoom out. 
And so here's the microphone, it's missing its knobs, but uh, on the back end here, let me, let me zoom back into that. Okay, come on, you can focus, 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 please focus. Huh, well, anyway, there we go. Um, there's a USB connection, but there's also a headphone connection. And so the analog is brought out to the headphone connector. Well, I think the analog going out to the headphone connector is a function of some other things. Um, and I think having this chip dead means that, that it's not getting routed over there because you can, I think you can turn that on and off or change the volume of it or something digitally or I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with these, these things at all. But what I do know is there is an active analog signal. So I'm going to cut these two traces, which go to the uh, headphone jack, and I'm going to route the known good analog signals to the headphone jack and turn this thing into an analog only microphone and see if that works. It, it still requires power, which the USB provides because there's a bunch of a uh, amplifiers and transistors and stuff over here. So it still needs power, but I'm going to see if I can turn it into a, an analog only um, Yeti. <laughs> so a uh, uh, kind of a, a lobotomized Yeti, <laughs> and we'll see if we can get some uh, see if we can get some analog analog signal out of this thing. All right, uh, I put on a USB connection, and we're getting a getting a. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, there's a red light on, so I know the thing's being powered. So let me pick up a ground. I'm going to search for those two analog signals. I think they're right around in here, and I've already had and cut the two traces on the. Uh, Cut the two traces. Let's see, let me see here. I think, yeah, there's one there and there's this one there. So let me show you what I'm looking at. Uh, looking at my scope over there. So I'm looking at uh, a place here and I'm tapping on the microphone. You can see that there's a signal there and the other place is a signal there. So they're plus and minus, plus and minus audio signals. So I know where they exist on this board. And uh, they are, so I went too far. Uh, they are uh, on this capacitor and this capacitor. So they're capacitively fed to the chip. So these are just feed through capacitors to the chip. So that's the last place the analog is seen. And once it enters this dead chip, it just disappears. So I'm gonna take those two signals and I'm gonna route them out here to the uh, uh, three and a half millimeter audio connector and we'll see if that does anything at all. Okay, there we go. So let me turn on a powered speaker here so we can see if this, see if this works at all. So I'm gonna put a, I can hear that. My speaker is working. Oh, <laughs> you can definitely hear that. All right, so that's in there. Let me find my USB. Let's plug that in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Definitely works. Yes, it works. Okay, we've we've tested it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so Yeti microphone lives again. All right, there it is. That's what a Yeti, a blue Yeti, looks like. All those white. Looks like the abominable, the abominable snowman. <laughs> <laughs>